In this video, we are going to see how to set up a Mac box. Right now, I'm using Mac 524W3, but any other Mac box is, you know, it has a similar setup as uh, this Mac 524W3. If you say Mac 322, Mac 254, Mac 500 series, they're all same. They have a similar setup. Let's see, it takes a little while to boot up everything. Okay, press OK. So see, we have a remote. This is a standard remote for usually used for the Mac boxes. With the 524 version, we get a remote like that. So let's press OK to confirm and go forward. So it's very simple, we're just gonna go into settings. So system settings. Whenever you wanna get into settings of a Mac box, let's say to change a server, let's say to connect to the Wi-Fi, or let's say for a software update, we need to look for system settings. So first of all, we're gonna connect with the Wi-Fi. So we go into network, we go into wireless, we go into first option, auto DHCP. We don't need the second option, we don't need the third option, just first option. And let's, okay, I'm in the wrong place. Hold on, let's go back. Okay, wireless. First option, auto DHCP. And then you got to look for your Wi-Fi name. It takes a little while, just press OK once. It's, it's gonna search for Wi-Fi networks and it's gonna give you the options, okay? So this is our uh, Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna scroll down. These options remain the same, WPA2, PSK, AES, they remain the same. Now to open up a keyboard, you need to look for a keyboard logo on your remote. You see this? It says KB, so it's a keyboard logo. You press that and keyboard comes up, right? So my, num my password is just the numbers, so I'm just gonna use the remote and put all those numbers. So now see, I'm done with the password, okay? So I press the menu button again and keyboard goes off. Now, if you look at the left bottom, it says OK to save. So I'm going to press OK and it says successfully saved. Just to double check, we can go into Wi-Fi again and you see there is a tick mark next to the Wi-Fi. So now we know we are connected for sure. To go back in a Mac box, rather than using a back button, you use a home button. Okay, so home, you go back, home again, you go back, right? Go back and yeah. Now, to get into servers, to add a portal or to change a portal, right? You don't need a name, uh, you know, honestly, you don't need a name. You just need the URL. Not the name, just the URL. So, in here, let's say, you whatever portal has been given to you, the URL, you just add it there and then you press OK and it's gonna be saved. That's it. You don't need to put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. You just simply put the URL, okay? And you press okay, it's gonna be saved. Once it's saved, it's gonna take back to, uh, take back to the previous screen and it's gonna say successfully saved. That's all. In case you wanna get the Mac uh, info, you can go into device and you can see the Mac address in there. However, you can also flip the box and there would be a white sticker at the bottom of the box. So let's say now how to do a software update. So there is a software update, right? You press OK. Now you need to select the URL, right? Once you, the URL is highlighted, you press OK again. Now if you see, it's going to say that you want to start the update, you need to press F1. You see F1 is in red. 
so some remotes they gonna show you f1 in the red as you see in here in the red f1 and it's written f1 but some remotes they're not gonna say f1 you see on this new style remote it doesn't say f1 but you see the red button is there so you select the red button okay and then the update gonna start so let's say you press f1 and see the update gonna start in order to make a software update it's important uh, that you are already connected to internet without the internet it's not gonna make any software updates it takes a little while and then it's gonna reboot on its own so see very simple once it's gonna make a software update i think i'm gonna make another video on how to get into system settings and add a portal url so this video showed you how you can connect with wi-fi how you can add a portal edit a portal and how you can make a software update on your any of your mac box okay thank you thank you for watching bye